Greetings, WordPressers. If you would like to add click to tweet functionality to your blog posts, here's how you do it in today's WordPress tutorial. Jackson here, welcome to the channel. This is uh, my place where I share tips, tricks, and tutorials, and rattle on about WordPress most of the time. And if that's your type of thing, if you like WordPress, then please do go ahead and uh, consider subscribing if you're new here. And check out the show notes uh, below the description. It has all the information and links and all that sort of stuff about what we're going to be talking and going through today. And it also has a link to download my ebook guide to my favorite top 10 plugins for WordPress of all time. Why I like them and how I use them. Anyways, getting on with today's show. Social media, of course, plays a big part in any website's ecosystem and a new-ish type of way of sharing content on your blog posts is to add a little box where you can put in a quote or something else and have a button there where the user can click it and they can tweet it. It will automatically open up their Twitter account with some text and a link to your blog post and they can share your content. There are a few plugins on the WordPress repo that do this really well, and some of them do a lot more than just this. But the one I'm gonna go through today is a very simple version, and I really, really like it. Like I said, there's other plugins that do a ton more than this, lots more social media interactivity, that sort of thing. But like I said, it's a simple, easy click to tweet plugin. It's called Better Click to Tweet. I love it, and this is how you use it. Let's get rocking with this better click to tweet. So we've got a demo site here, the Cento theme. And if we have a look at our blog page and go to our one of our blogs, just gonna click the link there, you'll see we've got our blog header and our image and our text. And we're gonna add our link somewhere around here. So off to the WordPress admin, we're gonna to go to plugins, add new, and we'll get the text that we need for our plugin search. Better click to tweet, a very super simple tweeting plugin let's do a search for that and it's the first one on the list we'll click the install now button and activate that plugin and once it's activated let's go to our posts where we'll go find that first post on the blog which is the how to make your new wordpress website and let's say 10 minutes and here's our text for our blog now it's really simple you see that on the text editor, we've got this new tweeting button. So if we make a bit of space here and we click the button, we get this little pop-up window that allows us to enter some text for our quote. So let's just put in something like, my oyster. And that's the text that will show on the little tweetable box, the quote, if you like. The next option is the include via. Now this is, Pretty cool because it will actually add the username, your Twitter username, so that you get a little shout out at the same time. And I'll just put in my username, click OK. And now you see we've got the short code created for us. We'll save that by clicking the update button and get back to our front end and give that a little refresh. Scroll down and there's our nice little click to tweet button. If you click the button, Twitter will open up. If your user is logged in already, they can just click the tweet button. Otherwise, they'll get asked to log in. They can obviously add their own little message or tweet the text, etc. The link to the blog is there. Plus, that's the little via your Twitter handle right there. So there are a couple of settings that come with the plugin. If we go back to our WordPress admin and have a look at our admin menu, we see we've actually got a better click to tweet menu. If you click on that, you'll get the settings page. And this is basically where you could add your Twitter handle by default, and it will be filled in when that pop-up box opens when you use the plugin on your posts. Also, there's an option to use a short URL. That's like the post ID URL, which is a lot shorter than the text URL that you most likely have as default and useful if you've got really long post names and you wanna put a reasonably long quote in. So not much stuff, but useful nonetheless. There's also a premium version and you can check out Ben's info on that with a link there also. I really love this plugin, super simple, sets up super fast. Really is a very simple way of adding a click to tweet onto your blog post, but let me know if there's anything else that you prefer, like, dislike, get your comments in below. And if you like what you've seen here, 
please, please, please do go ahead and consider subscribing to the Jackson channel. But until next time, I shall see you later.